Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday. And usually I would be reviewing Star Wars sets at this rotation of Throwback Thursday, but I have decided to take another break from that, but to have some others to review as well. But And starting out with a few uh, LEGO Dimensions uh, add-on packs, or Dimensions packs from 2016 and 17 in particular from Adventure Time, of course, and now there will be plenty of others to review as well, but yeah. So starting out with the level pack, uh, team pack, and fun pack, which were the three type of packs added for the line, of course. So on the front of each uh, box, which had the age group, amount of pieces, the type of pack it is, and the set number, and uh, let me do a close-up on this one, is have a kind of card back of which, kind of like how it is with blister pack kind of packaging for the other Toys to Life uh, sets and, or kind of things that were like Skylanders, Disney Infinity, and Nintendo Revipo, which is the only one still going on, but yeah. You can see a nice image of one of the mini thing and the LEGO Dimensions logos, of course, and also down below are the uh, three or so uh, pieces that are game pieces available to it, and a logo in this per case, Adventure Time logo. So that and screenshots of it from the game, and this one in particular, all new game level, Battle Evil in the Land of Ooh, of course. So of course, good props to Lego making this this kind of form of a box, of course. And on the side is some nice artwork for each pack, of course. And on the back side is the, uh, have the three alternate builds for each build. And of course, alternate builds, which we have seen in sets before, well, from like the late, early 1980s until mid 2000s. So but these were mid late 2010, so it's quite neat to see that return just for a, a bit of time. But yeah, and also showing the uh, Adventure Time Battle War Arena and World, and some of the warnings and so on. But yeah, and that's about it with the boxes. And now to the uh, instruction manuals, of which. Kind of similar pictures, same pictures as on the uh, cart back parts of the boxes that were on. And then, of course, with each manual, shows just to make the mini fig. And also, as the previously said, continue building using the in game building instructions. And then also, since this was year two, download the latest game content to use this character in all of these, of course. And also, building is part of playing the game. So of course, you just got access the ins the game to get the instructions to get these. But but there are some websites where you can get the instructions by now. Of course, then advertisement for some other uh, fun packs from from both Wave One, which I have previously reviewed, and then also from Wave Two as well, or Year Two here. Then advertisement for some other or for some level packs that there were and then some team packs packs that there were and that in this one of which expect for next next throwback thursday but yeah and then the ghostbusters story pack here and then the fantastic beast story pack and the pieces included and in that
out onto the mini pigs I included in each pack. Only really, as I did previously did is so a single pack, but all together here, which I use now, but yeah. So first off, we have Finn Human, which looking just about like he does in the show, which and of course with the golden sword here, and of course the new hat piece or hat like piece made specific for him. Also looking like in the show, of course. Here's although if you were to do any variant, Finn could always like get a certain blonde hair piece and represent his blonde hair, of course. Although if you have any like uh, the green zombie Steve's out of Minecraft and make this the green can make the plant form of him a uh, fern, of course. Well, unless of that could have been in, in updated in other forms, but whatever. And then next to which we have Jake the dog, uh, which as for the team pack, one of which including Jake the dog, uh, which is well, headpiece made specific to him, which looks really good for how it is. But however, the torso printing, quite plain for how it is. And he was holding flashlight, kind of representing some uh, some uh, like spooky episodes that there were. And then next one is Lumpy Space Princess. As in this odd lavender kind of color, but in the shape and the sculpting of her done pretty much perfection of course but as for the face print I think could have been a different expression instead of this shouting expression maybe could have been a simple uh, smirk expression or whatever but all of this kind of shows her some of the times throughout the show yeah. and of course holding this uh, tile piece that has a phone most likely from friends or something the last of which is Marceline the Vampire Queen and all her torso printing and also double side dual molded legs which is not great to see here but how her face printing looks great representing her from the show and this hair, hair piece of which well fitting to her and of course have the uh, battle axe kind of uh, pieces but in light red good to see here and of course this representing a axe blade or axe guitar, or, of course. Also forgot to mention on LSP, also standing on a clear brick like we saw with Slimer Ghost with Ghost in the Ghostbusters fun back, of course. And as to the back sides of each of them, I see Fins, which is a plain torso piece. So, and of course an all new specific backpack piece here. But however. Both Finn and Marceline, only ones with double sided faces. And of course, Marceline's kind of terrifying, like she sometimes can be in the show. And then, as for, although what I think they could have included for as for accessories, like with either Finn or Jake, maybe include the book piece used as the Enkai Ridian, but maybe that's just me. Or a controller for BMO, but that's just me. Yeah. Also, as for these base place pieces, which they all stand on, which all figures in the dimensions line all come on. But however, year two, they well year one they were mostly blue, but year two were in this orange, which just to differentiate them. But as for fins here, have pretty much some grassy parts for the grass fields of ooh and with a sword most likely ferns and snail there and then as for jake's which is most likely the floorboards of his and finn's house and the controller to plug into bemo and then lumpy space princess hers of which is just plain lavender and a star on there like she has on her forehead and as Marcelina, which was most likely all red with some guitar strings on there. 
and then that's about it for the meeting things. And now to the first of the builds for the level pack is the Jake Mobile, which I see comprised mostly some uh, yellow slope kind of pieces to there, like like one of which that includes Jake's face on it, and also a lot, whole lot of that going on, and also the smallish kind of car hood piece for that, but nothing in the back part of it, like the Ghostbusters Echo One set and can kind of roll around a bit. Then the back side does have a couple of these uh, trans red uh, uh, studs representing uh, tail lights and also do have a couple more slopes all around it going to the center bit with some stud stick now most likely where it can stand thin on to the video. And then next for the build or is the ancient war elephant, which as you see, if you since I'm a symmetry, large symmetry person, great to see good symmetry on both sides. Like as you see, as these traditional elephant trunk piece used as an actual elephant trunk, and also these parts representing like shortened down tusks, and also cheese slopes used as eyes. But although they could have been just used as studs for that, but of course. Maybe these are for the alternate builds, of course. And as for the legs, which comprise of mostly some cylinder pieces going down into some studs there. And as for the side parts, which are just mostly like uh, hanging kind of bracket bits to it. And also so with uh, flipper pieces used for elephant ears, of course. And do have some dark lavender pieces on top. Uh, which with a with four studs on him, and of course, luckily enough to let Finn sit on too if he wanted, and like he sometimes does throughout the show. But yeah, so I guess that is about it for that one. And on to the uh, level team pack is do you get BMO or BMO? which from first glance looks almost like the one that came in the uh, Adventure Time Ideas set, of course, but this so it's sort of a little larger scale to that. But unlike with most uh, builds in Dimensions, has a, a brick part to the base piece, even though the rest of it just use rounded uh, bricks to that, but yeah. But as for Bimo by himself, which it is kind of hard to stand up. Even though a lot of times throughout the show, kind of shows him like sitting down like that. But, although you could give him feet if you wanted, but, yeah. but however, he's comprised of mostly uh, sand green uh, and also a little dark gray and black. Like this uh, two by four tile piece with his buttons and stuff, and also a uh, Two by one by two brick with his face on it, and on both sides, which does have the sausage pieces in a uh, dark gray used as his arms, of course. And the only bit of posability is with the legs, of course. And then the back side, which is just brick stacked on bricks, and with a plate in the center, or with a couple hanging brackets in there, mostly for the alternate builds, of course. And I guess that's about it with Nemo. And the next, which is the Lumpy Car, which, as you see, does have a lot of, like, lavender and also a little bit of yellow to it, or dark pink and oddish yellow in there. But also nice to see is these uh, train cart wheel pieces, but in light blue, good to include there. And also on the front, which does have a little star piece and also a uh, trans blue uh, studs used as headlights and kind of interesting this curved bit to it kind of fitting to Lumpy Space Princess and on the back side does have a couple more trans blue studs used as tail lights of course and of course have four studs in there or at least kind of helps let Lumpy Space Princess kind of sit in to it well if you found a way to do so, but yeah. 
and that is it now. And whole building, which is quite good for how it is for a small build, but yeah. And that is about it with that one. And now on to the one that came with the fun pack, the Ludac Amp, which which I think was probably made up just for the uh, fun packs, which which if you know much more if this was actually used in the show, please let me know for that. And, but yeah. And although with this one you can like take it off the base piece of which and let it stand by itself, of course. Well if you want to, but yeah. That's how it's all resting on this like spider web kind of piece that holds the legs around it using the spike pieces in red, which we don't see much. And then going upwards has a like hanging bracket with an Exoforce robot arm in there using used as a lever. And also has and also do get a couple more holding these uh, bricks with technic holes used as amps, which we do see uh, quite a few times in other sets and also these oddish kind of pieces with gray studs on them also acting as amps of course. And on the back side does have these little uh, other kind of pieces first introduced in Legend of Chima and going off with the classic uh, flame pieces as well. But yeah. So of course kind of interesting to build how it is. And now let me get everything in place. Also, for, forgot to say, sorry about the price tag on there, which kind of happened with a lot set. With most of the packs, once the game finished up its run, but yeah, that's how I went by, of course. And so, anyways, on to the final vert. I think these of which are quite good uh, packs for how they are. Well, the team pack kind of works out as a good parts pack of like darkish pink and sand green, but also kind of weird how. Uh, Finn and Jake are just in two separate packs, even though they're the main pair of the show. show. Uh, but at least they kind of are together in the event in the level pack, mostly with as the Jake Mobile. But as for the team pack, maybe instead of Jake be there, maybe instead could have included uh, Ice King or maybe uh, what's his name, Magic Man or whoever. Or maybe that will, even though those could have easily come in other packs but, or, or whatever. And of course, neat seeing these in mini fig form, aside from as brick built figs in the Adventure Time Ideas set that there was, of course. And also, good to have some bit of variety, I mean, other than just that set, of course, like to include the Ancient War Elephant and so on. But as for the price for piece of which, uh, which quite good for how they were well even though the base plates base plate pieces were are what kind of bumped them up bumped the price up at the time but at least in the but then over time but at least until over time with the game ending up ending it kind of trended away from that or went quite low obviously but yeah and also as and of course as for the everything in the game uh, quite fun for how they are especially how you can like like co do a co-op with Finn and Jake then but yeah. and of course nice to have a character that also has guitar abilities but for Marceline good to have a character with some other guitar ability other than just Marty McFly of course but yeah And so now, if you're still going on with Lego Dimensions, and and also if you still have all these uh, packs from back in the day, 
Well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets or packs, whatever, then I'd say definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.